Hi, I'm Cassie. Today I'm sharing my top 10 favorite food finds. I feel like I'm kind of sharing some of my secrets, airing secrets today. So the very first one I want to talk about is this spice blend. Y'all, it is my love. I love it so much and when I run out, I get really sad. So this is the Super Garlic Blend from Balanced Bites. Now she makes a lot of different spice blends and they are all fantastic, but by far this is my favorite. I put it on my eggs every single morning and that's all I need. It already has salt in it, so I don't need to add anything extra. It's delicious. A hefty sprinkle goes a long way. Ooh, and then another pro tip, put it on popcorn. If you pop some fresh popped popcorn, that is really delicious. Next up down the list, have you ever just loved cold brew so much? but you drink too much of it and you give the jitters mid-afternoon and then you can't fall asleep at night. I have been there and I've thought, gosh, I want to drink cold brew, but I don't want all that caffeine. Let me introduce you to Explorer Cold Brew. This is not sponsored. This is just a love letter. Explorer Cold Brew makes really delicious cold brew concentrate. This is a concentrate. Read the directions on the bottle. In both low calf and no caffeine, all the way up to regular and extra caffeine, if you dare. But the low caffeine is the one that I turn to. So when I have my morning coffee, and then maybe it's 10 a.m. like it is now-ish, and I'm ready for another cup, that's the one that I grab. It's delicious. You just dilute it, goes a really long way. Love this company. Next up are, it's my favorite protein bar right now. And I, so there's some things that you should know about it. These Think Protein Bars, they're gluten-free, they have 20 grams of protein. They do contain soy and a few other allergens, common allergens, but they're delicious. I really, really love them. The reason I like these protein bars in particular, so there's 20 grams of protein, uh, nine grams of fat, really good. I, I love the macro balance there. And as a nursing mother, these are the ones that I find really fill me up. So like this morning, my I kind of botched my breakfast. And so I grabbed one of these protein bars and it was just enough protein and fat to really carry me through the first part of my morning. I love those bars. They come in lots of flavors, but the peanut butter and chocolate's my favorite. Y'all, if you do not know about these frozen dumplings, run. Do not walk to get them. They're by a company called Feel Good Foods. They're called chicken pot stickers. You find them in the freezer section. I find them at my local grocery store. That's probably where you can find them as well. And my family loves, this is one of our go-to meals when I know I really want one that's gonna be a sure win with everybody in the house. And I keep them frozen. And then right before I serve them, I put them in a, or before I make them, all I do is put them frozen in a skillet on the stove with some ghee or butter put a lid on it to help steam them, that'll defrost it really quickly, and then pull that lid off when I'm ready to crisp them up. Oh my gosh, they are so good, and the dipping sauce that comes with these is so good. I, w I really wish they would put just more in it because I could drink it, and just don't drink it, probably a terrible idea, but I would want to, it's really yummy. I usually serve this with some sort of a slaw or white rice, something like that, it's delicious. Two boxes is what I use to feed my family of two adults, a uh, four-year-old and a two-year-old. Next up is my favorite cereal. I didn't think I was gonna be a cereal person at this stage in my life. I gave it up so long ago when I realized that I really needed to go gluten-free for my health. And they, they've had some really great ones come out over the years. So this Cascadian Farm Organic Cereal, this is the Coconut Cashew blend. And I believe it's manufactured in a facility that does process wheat, so just kinda keep that in mind if you're celiac. Um, but I tolerate this cereal really well. It is delicious. When I was pregnant and I craved cereal, this is what I have with a really nice big bowl of whole milk. Oh, so good. Next up, one of my favorite, this is a food hack for you, and this is one of my favorite products. In my grocery store, so I'm in Texas, and we have this grocery chain called HEB, and it's essentially our neighborhood grocery store. And what they do, and I found this also at Whole Foods and a couple other grocery stores across the country, but look, in the produce section at the grocery store, a lot of them will juice their own juices. So that's where my family will often buy orange juice, and it's in a container like this, essentially unbranded with a sticker. Just kind of how like they might make their own pico or their own salsa or their own guacamole. They're also juicing their own juices for you. And let me tell y'all, we go through so much lemon and lime juice in my house. If you're familiar with Fun Fit recipes, you know. We lean on lemon juice. I love the vitamin C punch. I think that that's really important and nutritious. I love that it kind of helps 
uh, it gives the taste buds what they really need. When you take a bite of something and it often, often tastes like it needs more salt, but you know you have plenty of salt in there, it's very likely that your body's telling you and your tongue is telling you that it needs acid. Next, I love these chips. These chips are so good. Here's the real truth. The real real is I was up late at nursing a baby and after the, the big girls had gone to bed, big, they're still very little, but, and I was eating all of their pirate booty at night, all of it. I would open the individual bags of pirate booty destined for their lunches, pour it into a bowl so I didn't feel like I was just eating bag after bag. And that's what I was snacking on at the end of the day. And I thought, gosh, this is, I gotta do something about this because I'm eating all the girls' pirate booty. And so I did a little research and I came across these flex chips. And in a single bag, it's, so these are the cheddar version, cheddar, cheddar and sour cream. I'm not wearing my glasses. <laughs> cheddar and sour cream. So I still get that kind of cheesy, Frito-y, not Frito-y, Cheeto-y dusting that I'm looking for, but these are packed with protein. And so whereas I was gobbling up these, this pirate booty bag after bag, this was really hitting the spot in terms of actually giving me the nutrients that I needed. So 20 grams of protein in this tiny little snack bag. Incredible. But soy derived protein. So if you don't do soy, these are not going to be a good fit for you, but I love them. They come in all kinds of flavors. Okay, next up, Element. If you have not heard this of Element, you're in for a treat. I love, this is the electrolyte powder of my dreams. It's what I always wanted someone to come up with and poof, here we have it. So my favorite flavor of Element, and I'm a little kind of out on an island on this one, is their raw unfiltered flavor. The majority of Element options that you can find are really fun flavors. There's a chocolate, it's salty, very salty. It's salt forward electrolyte and I love it. It's got tons of magnesium, tons of salt, really, really great things for you. Uh, potassium is in here, so essentially the electrolytes you really need. And it's formulated based on the concept of salt is an electrolyte, a very important one. And if you happen to be following a real whole foods diet, it's actually possible that you are deficient in sodium as an electrolyte in your diet. And so this can really help, especially if you're athletic. Um, so do some research, talk with your doctor about it if you're worried about the sodium levels, but I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan especially of this raw and filtered one because the other ones have a little bit of artificial sweetener packed in with them and so this way I'm kind of avoiding that. There's no sweetener in this one, no extra flavor. And what I do is I serve it over ice. I pour this little packet in ice. I actually double up usually. I put two packets in a cup, add some fresh lemon juice from my handy bottle, ice, water, mix it, and it is like a refreshing mocktail. It's so delicious and very salty. And then a food hack for you, if you're ever under the weather or have family that's recovering from something, I will add a packet of this into the soup that I'm making, the chicken soup, because the extra electrolytes can only benefit everybody enjoying it. I'm gonna add salt to the soup anyways, and this way I get the benefit of all those other fun things. So try that next time. I also share about these element packets in my hospital bag video. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out right now. It's on your screen. These are fantastic for postpart pregnancy, postpartum, breastfeeding, all of those things, I have found a significant difference in my energy levels and also my milk production when I just started supplementing with these. Two more for you. The next one, this is maple syrup. Yes, you were not confused. This is a food hack. I know this isn't new, but what I wanna tell you about is the price of real maple syrup at a place, I buy mine at Costco versus the grocery store. Costco sells organic maple syrup and I have found it for as much as anywhere between half to 75% of the cost that I could find it at a regular grocery store. So if you are shying away from real maple syrup in your house because of the cost, maybe go check out a store like Costco and see if they've got it available. That's where we buy it and it's fantastic. And we go through maple syrup the most in our house not for pancakes, we do have pancakes about once a week, but we put it in our coffee every morning. It's my favorite coffee sweetener. And because it's real maple syrup, it won't make your coffee take, taste like pancakes. It just sweetens it a little bit. I love that it's a natural sugar. I love it, a little goes a long way. It's the good stuff. The last tip that I have for you and my last favorite food product is this fresh pasta from a company called Taste Republic. Oh my goodness, I love this stuff so much. The reason I love, so this is gluten-free. They make fresh gluten-free pasta and tortellini. We usually keep the linguine in our house because I use it a lot. The reason I love it so much is because the odds of you getting really good results 
on your pasta, meaning that gluten-free noodles sometimes are tricky to cook. They'll stick together, they can get gummy, they can be not quite done all the way through and unevenly. This is perfect every time and it cooks in three minutes. So if you have a four-year-old like I do and a two-year-old who's like, noodles, we want noodles now, like they want dinner now. All I have to do is boil the water, plop these noodles in and literally three minutes later, they're done and they're perfect every time. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching along and below, I would love to know what are your top food finds? What are the, what's the product that you love that feels like a secret that you can't wait to share about? I'd love to read about it.